Hello everyone, Dustman Avenger here from Slackers to Cover bringing you Nino Cooney 2. That's uh, twice the Cooney, half the Mooney. <laughs> not, not, not really, actually. Alright, let's get going. Everything should be working. If it skips a little bit, I'm sorry, OBS has been having some really weird issues today. Like, more so than normal. Oh, uh, let's see, I believe we were in the process of... See, go and tell Nyal you got as far as back. Oh, baby. How does one bring up the map again? This would be map, trip door, locations. Should have one right for far as Nyal. It's right there. Ah, uh, Green League Grove. Actually, it says the quest is Sunny Patch Bond, so let's go for it. I like that. Just straight there. No questions asked. Originally, I thought the uh, the map and, and kind of the ability to see where you're going was a little bit unclear, but it seems to point you right to where you gotta go. Crevens, your beauties, yeah, your body, body with beauties. You got me forest back, and that's all thanks to your saddles. You can have all the trees you want. Knock yourselves out. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Now we can start finding. Now we can finally start building our kingdom. What name with that? Wait, now Pugnacious had his king's bond stolen by a creepy snake-headed weirdo. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Jangs. Stolen? Jangs? His king Mega must be tearing the place to pieces. We we kicked the spot. Oi. We wanted to, sure enough, but we taught a little lesson and won't forget. Gold paws safe for now. King's Bond stealing no mean feat, though. He didn't happen to be infusing with an awful filthy fog, did he? <laughs> what? Mm. Uh, yeah, sort of purple aura. Mm. That'd be the horns one's doing then, right enough. The horned one? The old king maker of a place called Allegoria. A nasty piece of work, and no mistake. And for someone to be using the beastie's powers would have to mean... Aye. Cannot be any more but Dalaran. He's the king that shared a bond with the creature. Uh huh. So we need to go to the Allegoria place and get the bond back, right? Yeah, I have a job doing that, I'm afraid. Allegoria hasn't existed for, oh, 2,000 or more years now. It disappeared along with the land on which it stood. Golly. So he's the king of a country which hasn't existed for centuries? Ah! What does that mean? Is he a ghost or something? Whatever he is, he'd be looking to pinch people's king's bonds in order to try and bring the haunted one back somehow. If he does, the whole world will be filled with purple fog. Fog. Purple fog. Before you can say we're doomed. Hmm. So Pugnacious is right. He'll be trying to sell more king's bonds. What are you looking at me for, man? Then we mustn't let him succeed. Wait. Mustn't? Mustn't? I, I know it's must not, but for some reason, mustn't. Just. mustn't? Just sounds weird. Can't let him bring back the horn. Mustn't. Mustn't. That's early for me, folks. Uh, we sure can't, and if we're going to stop him, we'll need the strength of an entire kingdom. A kingdom we haven't even started building yet. Maybe we should get to that. Let's get to work, shall we? Ah, time to get building, me hearties. A pirate. A pirate. A president and a king. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan right enough. I'm best come with you. You'll be needing my help. Really? Yes, we need Yoda's truck. Speaking of which, things be getting underway by now, I reckon. Mm -hmm. What are we getting underway? Look. Uh, I smell a smell on the wind. That a progress. Seems the magey dolls got tired of twiddling their thumbs. <laughs> oh my! Where are these people come from? I see sky pirates, greenlings, even a few people from Ding Dong Dell. They all want to be citizens of our amazing new kingdom. That they must, right enough. But how do the swamps even know to come a knocking? <laughs> Ah, uh, you have to take me for that, son. Didn't expect so many to turn up so soon, to be honest. 
I put the word out on the street, you can. Well, we thank you for getting the old fathers back, like. That's more than we could have hoped for. Ah, oh, think nothing of it. I only ask the teensy weensy's favors in return. That should make me your Minister of Finance. Would not get pinch a penny like I can? I think that sounds like a wonderful idea. So the Niao is the Minister of Finance. I guess that makes Batu the Minister of Defense. <laughs> the suave in charge of fighting, you mean? I like the sound of that a good deal. Ha ha! And I guess I can be your advisor. I have a little experience running a country. I'm sure I can help out here and there. No, you'll be my chief consul. I'm no politician, Roland. I shall need your help. Well, that's very kind of you, Evan. I don't just... I don't know if I'll be... It's the king's job to appoint his ministers, correct? And I hereby appoint you chief consul. <laughs> well, alright then. Chief consul it is. By royal appointment. Thank you. Happy to see you're finally taking the lead. I suppose I am, aren't I? I'm still not sure if I'll be up to the job, but I have to try. And thanks to you, I feel ready to. I'll try my best for your sakes and for mine. Flipmon, I almost forgot. If we're building a kingdom, we need a proper tidy name in it to make things official like. I've been doing some thinking about that. I've decided to call our kingdom. Evermore. Yeah. What do you think? It's been taken, but you know, sure. I like it. Did you come up with it yourself, or did you play an old game from the 90s? Oh, it's from an ancient story. The story of a great kingdom whose people were so happy that they wished to last forever. Huh. Did it. Alright, Mr. King, you've named your country. Time to address your adoring citizens. That a nine-year-old's running their kingdom. Because monarchies are weird. Listen up, ye magey curs! King Evans got a rousing speech for ya! Pay attention! Huh? Hmm. I think we need to work on your etiquette, Batu. Thank you all! Building our new kingdom won't be easy. But we will build it! Bravo, a bravo! Destiny 2 writers couldn't have kingdom. beaten that. Where everyone can live happily ever after. Wow. I want you all to join me on this journey. The road ahead may be a long one, but at the end of it, there is hope. But in the kid's excuse, he is ten. Yeah! Yeah, all right, but put an LSD in the water source, so they're ready to go whatever you say. Come on, this. There's kingly you are. That wasn't half bad. <laughs> nice speech, Kevin. Couldn't have done better myself. This is where it all begins. Here and now. Our kingdom. We're with you to the bitter end, lad. Come hell or high water. Well, or both. Maybe hellishly high water. Thank you. All of you. So the people who had heeded Neil's call and flocked to the heartlands set about building their new nation. And Evermore took its first faltering steps on the road to becoming a kingdom. A kingdom where everyone walls could up. live happily ever after. I feel like walls are Just important. as Aranella had wished. Or so they hoped. For someone with a brand new kingdom, you don't look very happy. Uh, I am happy, but I'm worried. There's still so much we don't know. 
And now there's a force bent on destroying our whole world. How can I ever hope to overcome something like that? You can't, on your own. But you're not on your own, are you? No, not anymore. I have friends beside me. The best friends I could ever hope for. That's right. So turn to them when you need to, and take it one step at a time. You'll get there in the end. I suppose so. I can only do my best after all. <laughs> exactly. And your best is only going to get better. I'll see you again soon, Evan. Yes. Save your progress. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. It's been nothing but reading so far. Maybe I'll take this one a little bit longer than normal. Eww, are they wooden walls? I'll take them. Oh, snap. We gotta upgrade the stuff to stone, man, and then diamond. Huh. Evermore's beginning to look like a real kingdom. It is, isn't it? Next time we had a little talk about how a country needs to be run. Is that alright with you? Of course. I got everyone here. Chapter 4. Ferdinand. Mighty Ferdinand. Mighty Ferdinand. Is that a new character I get? All right. a dog with an axe. The castle's ready and things are coming along nicely, which means it's time to get down to business of running your new nation. We'll need to set up various ministries this place will need to grow into a fully fledged kingdom. We'll need to assign the right people for the right tasks. Aye lad, the uh, controlled chaos, the sky pirates, ain't for everybody. I've taken a census of all your citizens and listed who's skilled at what. Deciding who will work w where is up to you, though that's the job for a king. So I need to think about which roles will suit particular people and assign them accordingly. That's right. Give it a try. You'll learn fastest by doing. Just take a seat on your throne and then start giving some orders. Evermore forevermore. Evan can sit down his throne in Evermore Castle and issue orders to his subjects in order to help his kingdom grow and prosper, and in turn make his adventure easier by building facilities, assigning citizens to run them, and having them carry out research on new technologies and techniques you can open up a whole world of possibilities. Facilities include shops where unique items can be bought, outfitters that can make all kinds of clothes and armor, and many others, get building, and make Evermore amazing. Yeah, okay. King Builders KG, the King's Guilders, oh, King's... About builders, guilders. King's guilders are the currency of kingdom management, and extremely s are entirely separate from the guilders evident his friends can earn elsewhere. They are necessary for every step of kingdom building, from creating new facilities to upgrading existing facilities, to carrying out research at said facilities. Why not claim your first clutch of KG? Go to your kingdom coffers and grab them. Huh. The tireless efforts of your citizens have earned you a total of 2,500 KG. Your kingdom is growing every day. Long may it continue. They'll gradually, uh, gradually accumulate at your citizens, go about their business, and you can collect them from your kingdom's coffers um, as and when you need them. You'll be surprised how quickly they can build up, especially once your kingdom's influence starts to grow, so check back regularly to see how things are looking. You may also be able to earn extra King's Guilders by solving the various day-to-day -day problems of your beloved citizens. You can also see how many King's Guilders you have collected at the main menu, so you don't have to go back to Evermore to check every single time. I wonder if it was a, like, max, like one of those, uh, overtime phone games where it's like, Oh, you have 500 out of 500. You couldn't earn more. Sorry. Uh, building and developing facilities. All right, it's time to make, uh, to take your art earned king skills and spend them on building a new facility. Select and build the facilities your kingdom will need by manager kingdom from the menu. Each and every facility will have a hugely beneficial effect. 
You can also improve the effects of existing facilities by upgrading them. One particularly helpful facility upgrade is your castle, as doing so will benefit the entire kingdom, broadening its borders so that even more facilities can be built. Uh, but leveling up your castle will cost quite a few King's Guilders. Try upping your influence with a few basic facilities first to improve your coffer filling capabilities. First thing you'll need to do is select manage your kingdom and build up the facilities of each of the four ministries surrounding the castle. Okay. Manage your kingdom. Set facilities surrounding the castle. Research spells, research armor, research weapons, research Higgledies. Higgledy research sounds amazing. Uh, yes, dude, he's Higgledy. Heartily. She looks like I might have enough um, to build everything once. Hillary, Hillary complete, com Clinton completed. Okay, I, I may have exactly enough to build level one of everything. That influence, yo. We got armor, we've got outfitters, weapons. I like how that's a giant helmet. Yo, I wish if I had an armor shop it'd be a giant helmet. I'm just saying, man. Our influence is up there, man. Kingdom Development Research. Once your facilities are up and running, you'll need to set them to work on some research. Most facilities can carry out research of some kind. This can all be all kinds of beneficial effects, from making new items available to helping Evans and its friends. In order to research a given topic, you'll need personnel with enough IQ and the King's Guilders to fund their work. Some topics may uh, have extra requirements. Of course, research takes time. When research into a given topic reaches 100, it'll be completed, but the more complex the topic, the longer it'll take. The higher the IQ of the personnel involved, the shorter the, require the required time. In order to carry out research, you're going to need the right personnel. Your citizen is different. You'll be suited to different work. Suitability for a given type of task is known as IQ. For example, you'll need someone with high IQ where military matters are concerned to carry out military weapons. Okay, so whoever fits the thing, whoever fits well enough, we can do. Okay, so I think I have someone for this personnel, assigned citizen. So this is weapons. I mean, he has total IQ 75. <clears throat> I mean, Batsu would be the best at the weapon side of things. So let's do that. Recommend person now. Oh, okay. Yeah, then do that. Just throw all those guys on. If you guys recommend it. Research. Level 1 melee weapon development. 150 research topic in around a minute. Research has begun. Oh man, it's less than a minute. Bam. Done. Complete the research. Level 1 melee weapon development. Oh, do we, we earn a little bit of influence every time we upgrade things as well. Good, it looks like your research is complete, but Running Kingdom is needed by research. Certain facilities such as farms and mines will allow you to amass materials by assigning personnel to work there and gather them. The items gathered can be collected from your Kingdom stores, which are accessible from the Kingdom menu. You would claim your fair share of the bounty of the realm. Your stores can only hold so much, but you'll need to empty them regularly in order to... for your item-producing facilities to keep providing you with goods. A lot of stuff to learn in a short amount of time. So there's ministries in charge of weapons and armors, and one in charge of magic, and even one for Higgledies? There are. Speaking of which, we don't have anyone skilled in Higgledy management to head up that team right now. Short of sprite savvy, are we? 
I don't want that we won't be making any developments in the area anytime soon. What we need to do is recruit somebody who's just think the right person. What about Auntie Martha? Who's she when she's at home? Friend we made on the way to Cloud Coil Canyon. Doubt anyone knows more about the little guys than she does. Perfect, let's go speak to her right away. To Martha's Cottage! We are going that way on our own. Okay. I'm gonna jump back on this throne real quick and play a little bit more with this. Cause I feel like we left a couple things untouched. Like exactly. Like, well, we got 30 bucks already. Yay. Stores are completely empty. Check. <clears throat> if anyone capable, we do have people that are possibly capable. Already assigned. Tanny. Okay. The Rafters, I, I... Can I get a mine going? That's fishing. <laughs> I hope I hope that muted. Sorry about that. Uh, journal store, little bazaar, Tasty's cook shop, little residence and fungi. I got nine fifty. How much is it? It's two forty to build. Let's build it. We'll put Yoda over here. Personnel, let's drop Yoda in. Nyao. Though he does have a really good Higgledy. But you're gonna just be producing stuff for me, so we're good on that. Um, <clears throat> Hubble Bubblery, get better rewards. Research medicines, ooh, ooh, baby. Uh, what I really want is a mine up and running. Hunting Lodge. Grains and vegetables. Expansion stores. Mining camp number one, here we go. It'd be silly not to go in and just spend all of our guild and just get everything up. As long as we can have somebody in there to research stuff. Or at least start gathering stuff is what I mean. Feel for treasure hunting and boost. Honestly, let's just. Oh, we got Floyd now too. When did he show up? Probably because influence going up. Do it for a brasserie boss. I usually oh, he's a cook. Gotcha. Helps in skirmishes. More barracks. There's a lot of things to level up in this game. Expand your stores. <coughs> Sleeper Ranch. Burden Farm. I feel like that'll also be important. Bones Furs Hunting Lodge. Well, let's actually. Bones Furs, in other words, sounds like armor parts. Personnel, uh, I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna put Batu over here. I mean... <laughs> History of Gleeful Violence. Yeah, is what it is. At least we'll have something somewhere. Do I have anybody I can put over here whatsoever? Floyd's got a little bit. As long as I can get something going, I'm okay. My first Hildy cookbook? Well, I mean, he is a cook. I IQ required. Oh, there's IQ requirements for these things. Ew. 
Okay, now I understand what this is about. If you do research, there's gonna be IQ, combined IQ required. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to rethink this section a little bit. To pull Batu back over here, that's gonna increase our general IQ to 210. I mean, if need be, we may have to just pull people off, and, um, good golly, that's a lot of guilders. 14 minutes, alright. You do that. Coffers. Hey. Get 140 King's Guilders. There's a lot now, but, you know, we're gonna tell you that. Facilities. And we're just have to... Bring a lot more people in. Now, research. Can I just do general research? Okay, so I can see the research. Do I have 500? I do not have 234. Do have any sort of personnel I can assign to this? Uh, technically. Is that enough to research level 1 armor? It is not. Okay, well, I'll play around with some of these things in a boot. In fact, let's just throw her over in uh, Hunting Lodge, because I think this is just an overtime earning thing. We'll throw Floyd over here as well. Yeah, well, you guys can just start earning, earning some some stuff for me, because I'm awesome. Uh, return to town. Oh, well, that's sweet. So, what kind of weapons you got for me over here? Making improvement equipment. Oh my gosh, this just just yeah, just get me to where I can buy stuff. Thank you. None of us that great. Even the weapons aren't that great. I'm gonna have to need, need a couple more level ups before I have anything substantial from that. All right, let's head over to Auntie Martha's house. She luckily has a nice little thing. Over it, so you know where you're going. Not ready to take on those level 50s yet. I wish we were, or not. She not home? Oh no, she's right there. Hey, what's up? Hello there. Well, if it isn't my favorite young man, and what can I do for you today, my handsomes? Hello. We've, uh, we have a favor to ask. We've started our new kingdom, you see, and we've been wondering if you might be, uh, if you might like to come and live there. We need someone who knows about Hildes. Well, now. Well, what's that now? You want an old Auntie Martha to move to this new country of yours? Oh. Oh, well, I mean, not if you don't want to, of course. Oh, heaven, my love, of course I want to. I'd be delighted to come and lend a hand if you'll have me. You would? Wonderful. There's just one problem, though. Someone stole my rubber dub scrubber. What? You you what? No, dear. Aren't you listening, dear? My rubber dub scrubber. It's a scouter, just not like any old scour. It's very special indeed. They get even the filthiest old pot sparkling clean with even a swish and a swash. And my higgledy darlings flat or refuse to be born in anything but the cleanest of cauldrons. So you see, I can't be doing anything without it. Gosh. I. I never knew Higgledies were born from cauldrons. Well, who do you think could have stolen Auntie Martha? Uh, a wicked little wampster, that too. Problem is, I'm in no position to go chasing on that. All right. Just he's, he's interrupting, just like, no, no, just, just, just okay. tell me, tell me where it is. I will kill him. I will kill him in an instant. Go to Grotty, Grotty Grotto. Yo, that 
guy's not even a name, man. Karate Grotto. What's wrong with you, game? Give to Karate Grotto. Over here, there's a holy hole. And whoa, what is shiny, man? That'll be a weapon or a person I can put to work. Oh, you better be a person I can put to work. Ready to join the fray and take on Wallop the Wampsters? Oh, it's a skirmish. Eh, okay. Sure, we'll give it a shot. I mean, they're Wampsters, right? We should really take on a Wampster. Evermore's now grown big enough that a new option is a new <laughs> and dude option. Yeah. New option is available in the briefing screen for skirmish battles. Bolster forces. With it, you can spend King's Guilders in order to give your forces various advantages, such as more might. Mo oh God, I'm not. I'm not spending. I'm not spending money on things. Sorry. Oh, there's just the two of us still. Uh, Evans force defeat all the whamsters. All the whamsters. I don't got the money for things like that. We're, we're going as is. Wham, bang, wallop. He looks mean. Prepare to squeak your last. I'm going to fill you full of hole. That, yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 all right, we're good. Uh, it was ranged versus green guys. Uh, Stu Stewart. There's plenty more where that came from. I don't think it worked ready for level four. Can I go over here? Use the terrain to your advantage, little friends. Okay. Terrain advantage us. From square. Now's our chance. Like we're uh, oh yeah, we're we're a little under level for this. Charge! Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot her. I'm sure how the dude in the back got swatted, but whatever. Who's next? Ha ha! Bomber Square! Now's our chance! Oh, that was so much easier. That was very my boost. How does one. Uh, it's. Charge! That's not it. How does one. Oh, we got. Advance! That's not it. We can't afford to lose. There we go. That that uses the military. All right. And you got them, just keep stabbing them in the face. George! They're just little whamsters, you got this. Wham them in the brain hole. 
I gauge refill a little. Yeah. What are you guys hiding behind there? Don't hide. I don't remember what. Okay, it's our military mines about on point. Why am I glowing? Advance! Now's our chance. Stay strong. All right. Okay, we're we're losing military might killing these guys because we keep refreshing. Oh gosh, there are mini bangers out here. Is that where I need to go? Actually, that may be where I need to go. That last group over there. Slugger! S swarm them! Oh! Snap the diddle. Um, let's. Do an aerial drop right y'all. Back up, back up, back up. Dude. Let's do There's plenty more where that came from. A little shock and awe. Uh, and then another shot. <laughs> no, hold up. Why am I glowing? I I feel like I I've missed something. I don't know tactics or something. Because my character is glowing. Uh, ban a skirmish, move Mac back to Babel. Babel. Back to Babel. Give it everything you got. Oh, yeah, that was it. Oh, poop. It gives me, like, a, a bolster. A morale boost. It's actually my, my limit break that I just squander sleep. Squandered horribly. There's plenty more where that came from! Okay, well maybe if we're careful we can get more of that though our military might is really, really low. Stay strong! Now's our chance! Oh my gosh, they have fireballs. Okay, uh, so... Maybe rotate like this and run them in. Let's go. Chingo's in a spot of bother. Military might is go up and down hard, but we got him last second. Hey, so we weren't quite level four. We won. We barely won, man. We barely won. A ticket, though. A barely win is still a win, especially in JRPGs. Flat bone clump of glowing cotton. You for treasure worth a dollar per earthy sap. I'm not really sure if that was good, other than... Sorry, I have my alarm going off. Also, I have text messages. I need to check those after this. Oh! The grotto! We we'd come here before, it's just there wasn't anything in here, so... 
now we get a boss, apparently. Some sort of whamster. There's a whamster in here. Whamster. Oh. So maybe the whamsters are stolen from Auntie Martha. Let's turn that scrub into its rightful owner. Level 20s. Whoa, 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 before we get into combat here. I mean, I understand why it does, because, you know, technically Evan's the main story dude. But I don't like Evan as a character. At least not as Fight Night character. Oh, that, that, that hurts you guys, I'm sorry. So bad, the cute little whamsters. Oh, that was... That was a piece of cake. We got Auntie Martha's rubber scrubber. Scrubber. You know his name? Um... We never met before, have we? If I well, you're just what I'm looking for. You must listen to what I have to say. I have an important mission for you. Flip it, Ackman! There's a man I do not know. That's you need to kill. Okay, that door's over there still. There's the place with the door we couldn't enter last time. Um. Someone we help you with? I'm really happy to blindly follow the quest of strangers. I see. This could be a dangerous habit. What? But you had a special mission for us. Hey. Hey, do not interrupt me or I shall be forced to dock your marks. Listen, this is for you. Take it. A dreamer's key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a key? It isn't. I, I assume you are aware of the presence in this world. The mysterious portals known as dreamer's doors. The long wish to investigate what lies beyond them, but I'm unable to bypass the magic to seal them shut. But now, at least, I've made a breakthrough. I've managed to create a key to allow them to be opened. I call it the Dreamer's Key. Gosh! Sounds very exciting. <laughs> Certainly is. It was an achievement for which I awarded myself full marks. Which brings us to the reason for me coming here. There's a Dreamer's Door in this very cave. Fortunately, having come this far, I find myself in a rather problematic situation. <sighs> oh, yeah, here we go. As I'm sure you can appreciate, a gifted intellectual, I am peerless in the matters of the mind, but when it comes to the field of battle, I, 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 I suck. Uh, I fear what lies beyond the door may be beyond my capability. A capable assistant has been sent to me. Oh, you don't mean... Yeah, yeah I mean of you. What? Cool, hey. we're assistants. Just, just get to the part where we're killing Man. stuff. We'll, 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 yeah. Professor Millenia. You can also call me a professor. Really? Professor, is it? That's big-headed. Right, right you are, professor. Yeah. There's nine dreamers? <laughs> Or nine things behind him. Yeah, alright. Nine fragments behind the dreamer's door. Check. Actually, I missed it. Did she say nine behind this door? Or nine, in general, nine doors? Yeah, alright. Wow. A lot of experience. You get a lucky locket. Yeah, yeah, make it the active quest. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? That's over this way. Get the nine dream fragments from the dreamer's mazes dotted around the world. Okay, so it is, there's nine doors total and fragments inside. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Save slot one. Let's go. Don't know how long this dreamer door is going to take, but after the dreamer door, that may be it for us today. Yep, Yora. You'll be use the key, man. Want to save? I saved already. We're good. Let's go. My eyes! It's so bright. I'm in a dark room. Uh, okay. Strange uncharted spaces stretch out beyond the portals known as Dreamer's Doors. What lies at the end and what enemies la and lands wait within, no one knows. 
When Evan and his friends enter a dreamer's maze, a strain is placed on the very fabric of space and time, causing the danger level to dimension to gradually increase. Each time the danger gauge fills, the danger level will increase by one. Simply being present is enough to fill it, but certain other incidents will also cause it to increase. When the danger level increases, so too will the level of ferocity of monsters you encounter. As such, you must keep a close eye on it at all times. Defeating monsters in Dreamers Maze will earn you strange pink spheres known as Key Orbs. Offer up enough of these to idle when you come across one, and you can cause the danger level to decrease. Each time you do so, the idol's hunger for orbs will grow. You can also meet the occasional person in Dreamers Maze that may offer a gift of orbs for you, or be able to lower the danger level for a price. The last floor of every Dreamers Maze is full of monsters whose ferocity is beyond imagining, but defeating them is the only way to stabilize your precarious dimension. Several Dreamers doors are known to exist around the world. Do you have what it takes to overcome what lies beyond them all? I can dig it. I can dig it. I don't know where I'm gonna dig it, but I can dig it. Oh, there's a little, a little low orbies in here. I get orbies at a pot. Okay, orbies. Oh yeah, it, it actually is rising really fast. You ready for this? Very quickly. Uh, um, stay on this floor. Careful, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's loot on these these floors. Gotta get the loot, man. Gotta get the loot. Wait, they became soaked? Wait, what? Oh. Wait. Who the flipping? That's annoying. A damn shame, sure. From a wamester. Sorry, I dig the name still. Need something pointless, isn't it? Yeah, it is something pointless. What up? Ooh, there's pots over here. Pot destroyer, go! Okay. I mean, cool. I got. Am I going back the way I came? No. It's just a dead end over here. Well, I mean, to be fair, it is called a maze for a reason, but I kind of expected more on floor level one. Just right button. A button just the right size for all of your uses. More way hamsters. Yeah! Do your worst. At the danger level one. Here, shiny things. Yeah, I'm honestly I'm kind of disappointed with this floor. There isn't a jag de -ha. Danger level two achieved. All right. Yeah, yeah. Next floor. It's all purple and stuff. Carrots. Carrot. Oh, God. So they're level 22 now. You ready for this? <laughs> Eat this. <laughs> The 
quick. Oh, please, I hate you so much. So he just runs around, drops stuff, and then leaves. Oh, I didn't notice that before. A good egg. We're halfway up. I'm getting, finding like a lot of the things I've already had before. Oh, what are you? Strange force. Ten orbs would open it. Alright. Hand it up, yo. That's lame. Take a dollop of sour sap. Interesting. Just random Higgledy just gave me free stuff. This is a terrifying presence through the door. So, I mean, it's the first time I've encountered a Dreamer door, so essentially this is a tutorial of such. Silas' face is a perfect picture of kindness. Five orbs, the dragon level decreased by one. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, I feel like I got 18, it's still a decent amount of orbs. I don't know what level the bell is going to be originally, so... Didn't want to walk in here and have a really high level boss jumping out on our us. Yeah, he would have been like... 23 or something. that please. Ow, oh, you can hit me even when you're in the wall. It's not fun, man. Oh, a little bit of a shield and a heal. Heal and shield. That's nice. Ready to go? As soon as you rock your socks, I'm out. We're doing good still. A little bit of the damage. Stop shooting me in the face! Make yourselves useful. Oh, he's fucked up. You got a level up from him too. Nice. A red dream fragment. Oh. Not that it matters, but I guess you can grab a lot of, uh, purple gems, but I, I'd imagine they disappear after the end. i give you a little unfair if you can collect these things, take them to the next dream door. Walk in there like, I got like 80 of them I farmed. Alright. That's the final door and escape the dreamer's maze. Let's do it. We got the fragment. 
boss defeated. One down out of nine. Escaped unscathed. I'm a little sad, honestly. I, I was expecting more from that, but like I said, it being the first one out of nine, it was the tutorial area, probably really easy on purpose just to get you a little taste of what's to come. I could see it being stressful, especially if it was like a really large area and the enemy is getting more difficult and more difficult. However, I kind of want to... I'll have to come back later and see if I can go back in there even after it's done. Because I want to know, can I just stand there and let it get harder and harder and harder and use that as a way to farm materials and levels and stuff? Because then, you know, if I was level 22, I could just wait for the mobs to be level 24. Uh, and then fight them all, level up a little bit, and then come back and do it again. You know, I, I, I think we could probably handle... Oh, that just, it just resets. Okay, I didn't realize that just resets after a while. That's unfortunate. It kind of makes me wonder what the point of those herbages are, other than if they are appointed things that we have to do. Also, nice, the enemies ignore us if we're too high a level for them. We've established our dominance, therefore they want nothing to do with us. Let's get Auntie Martha her thing back and get her hooked up for the kingdom. I'm blind, you blend in so well. Look at tree. Hand over the rubber dub scrubber. Thanks ever so much. Oh, how wonderful of you, dear. Now I can scrub the cauldron until it sparkles and make some hot, lovely higgledy for you. Now, my little darlings, you look after the place while I'm gone, you hear? right -o. Ready when you are, why don't you show me the new kingdom of yours, hmm? Nice. Two healing pots. And a new citizen of Evermore. Ooh, so this is your palace, it's dear. I must say it's very cozy. Glad you like it. Please make yourself at home. I shall, my lovely. I shall. Don't forget, Devin, before Martha can get to work, you'll need to take a seat at your throne and assign her to a ministry. Ta -ta for now. All right, my lovelies, you do what you got to do. I'll pop around and say hello to everyone. You just shout what you need me. Well, this isn't an every time thing, and it was just because she was special. Hey. That you get a new citizen and it takes, takes you back home. Hey, Evan, there's something else I need to talk to you about. Can you speak with me when you have a moment, okay? Mmm. Of course. I'm ready because I have not drank my coffee. Mmm. What was you want to talk to me about? I think it's better if we gather everyone together first. I insist we throw a coup. I want to take over and Evan's mm -hmm. child. So let's just get the child out of the way. Well, what is it? Eh? Just a little look on your face. You've uh, been in your bonnet about it. I guess you can say that, yeah. Let's get straight down to it. Evermore is coming along pretty nicely. We have a castle now. We've set up all our ministries and everything's beginning to take shape. But we're still missing something vital. What do you mean? You have people gathered here from all over the world. If you're going to unite them, you're going to need to give them a banner to unite under. A banner? What exactly do we stand for? What are our goals? Our values? A flag? That's what I mean by banner. A shared purpose. Something everyone can work toward. Without that, we can't call ourselves a nation. Hmm. Hmm. You're the king. What kind of kingdom were you hoping for? What goals do you want? What kind of place do you want it to be? I see, well... Most of all, I suppose we'd like it to be a happy place. A place where people can get along with one another. <sighs> oh yeah, that part. We need something more concrete than that. I know. A kingdom without war or fighting, that's what I want. Who doesn't want that, lad? Anyway, th Think we liked being at it tooth and nail with the wyverns the whole time? Or they with us? Folks will have the folks will have their differences no matter how lovey dovey a kingdom you build. He's right. But I really do want that. I want to bring it into war. That's our banner, it has to be. Well, alright then. 
If that's your decision, we'll need to gather intel on our rival kingdoms. I, for one, don't feel like I know enough about this world yet. Listen. Then you'll be needing to hit the library for a wee read. It's over in Goldpaw there, run by a mad old baggage named Bodley. The books and scrolls and tablets you have be on everything subject under the sun. You'll find your intel here, sure enough. Huh. A library, huh? Yeah, sounds like what we need. It'll certainly be worth a visit, I'm sure. A banner to unite under. No war! Because... Because you're a child and you believe that's going to happen. But, you know, whatever. Shining Utopia. Might be fun. Thousand bucks. Hey. Does he gonna is he gonna pop up every single time? And be like, yo, you got some money. Stores. Take all the items from the stores. I need to increase those facilities soon. Get okay, Magic Kingdom. Let's get. What do you got? Research done. Complete research. Baby. Influence is growing steadily. I think. I don't know. Barracks. Barracks Obamas. Personnel, we got the old lady who is a higgledy expert. 135. Holy moly. What does it actually say? Suitable. Just just suitable? Like she just she she good. We don't need nothing else. I, I may throw another person in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. My first Higgledy cookbook. My first Higgledy cookbook. Do I have the money? I don't have the money for that, but I may have the money soon. It's gonna take 22 minutes! What? Well, to be fair, I guess we do have a couple people we can pull from the... Personnel here. What's your Higgledy at? Sigusty. Okay, we're, we're pulling you. Yeah, we're to progress. It's okay. Just pull it. We're good. Remove. Yes. I'll drop you over at the higgity. Higgity higgity. Personnel assigned citizen. Floyd, you're a good cook. You can't change. Oh, you can't change while they're in the middle of researching. Well, cancel research. Should I get my money back? I'm gonna lose my money. Dang it. Hindsight. Hindsight, let's make sure we have our personnel settled before we do any sort of research. Also, I'm curious. There's a 60, 60 points added in. It was 22 minutes, so it actually reduces down to 15 minutes. So, uh, what is that? 100... Almost... Almost double the amount needed drops it by about. Yeah, oh gosh, what is that? 22 minutes to 15 minutes was about uh, about a 30 percent, 50 percent, 50 percent would be 11, 40, about 30 percent. So not bad, not bad at all. Do you have any more? I can just kind of pop out here and build. I'm gonna build these. As the money comes in, may not have places for them, nor might I have the personnel for them, but I do get some influence just for building them. So, it's just a ghost town at this point. Fifty. I got it. Let's go. Explorers Guild completed. Wow, I got enough in my coffers. Hey, hey you got $124. Who'd you shake down for that? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. No, continue managing. don't have as big of borders yet. How much do I actually need to expand the castle the first time? I'm just curious. 
Span coffers. Uh, 3,000. Oh, there is a limit to how much I can hold. Mmm. Okay, coffer uh, requires... 200,000 or more. We're on our way to that. We'll get that in kingdom level of 2 or more. How much to level up the kingdom? Uh, it's gonna cost 5,000. That's 150,000 influence increase. Holy moly. I think we can get that pretty soon, honestly. Especially if we could just keep playing and things down. Yeah. Go ahead and get that built as well. At least we'll have level 1 of everything up and running soon. But not right now, because, I mean, we actually are earning pretty fast, considering I just... Hey. Hey, your, your, your citizens gave you $38 here. Hey. Hey, your citizen gave you $20 here. Is it real time? Well, I see. I won't see. All right. Anyway. This has gone uh, for a long one, sorry about that, but with all the reading and stuff at the beginning, I wanted at least a little bit of like action, combat, and progression gone. Hey, there we go, another 20. Um, <laughs> I may have to, between episodes, leave it on uh, and maybe tool around with a couple things here and there, because it does seem like coffer gaining is time-based as well as research, and yeah, I... It's just going to take a little bit of extra time on the side uh, to have something to show. Hopefully, I say hopefully, guaranteed we will get a level 2 kingdom set up next time. We can get some more of these facilities and research things going. But thank you everyone for hanging out. Thanks for joining. For more news and information on what's going on and what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw want to see more like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. This is Dust Bunny Avenger signing off for now. Until next time, folks. Take care. Bye.